Dykes. Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Captain Willie Dykes. We'll be checking in with my partner Andrew Tulls in just a few minutes. Well, it's a new year here on Outdoors Del Marva, so we're going to start things off with the latest crazy way that a local Del Marva town has decided to ring in the new year. That town is Cambridge, Maryland, and their idea, we think, is just perfect. <laughs> It's packed here on Poplar Street because this raucous crowd is going to ring in the new year by dropping something that symbolizes not only the town's work ethic, but also their ties to the water. This will be the first ever boat drop. There's still an hour left till midnight, but it's already a hit with those in attendance. I think it's brilliant. I think it's perfect for where we are, and it just really talks, it speaks to the eastern shore. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so typical of Dorchester County and the eastern shore that we would have a work boat as our holiday celebration symbol. They're all here to see what's happening in Groove City. That's what they call us here. Get an idea, pull it together, put it out over the internet, and let's do it, and I like that kind of energy and leadership. That leadership is represented by a handful of citizen volunteers with Cambridge Main Street who are putting the finishing touches on the 60-foot ramp that the four-foot boat will be traveling down. The goal of Cambridge Main Street is simple, promote the vibrant downtown district, and it looks like it's working. Um, we wanted something unique. Uh, we wanted something that was uh, relevant for Cambridge, the Eastern Shore, and Dorchester County. And uh, a boat is a lot of people's livelihood, so we thought it would resonate. So what can we expect if everything works out? There's a line hooked to the base of that track that actually releases a lever. When that lever goes, releases the boat. When it hits the bottom, if all goes well, 2017 is going to light and those balloons are going to launch. But those balloons are only going to launch so far because I don't want them to end up in the river. So we've got a, a piece of fishing twine hooked to it so we can reel them back in. The drop will also simulate trot lining for crabs if everything goes according to plan. Uh, it's a very eastern shore way of catching crabs. And uh, these crabs are going to drop off, which is about the opposite of what happens hopefully on a trap line, but it's, it's the same thing. Well, the boat has a, has a small uh, piece of angle iron coming off the side of it, and it'll hit each one of these levers that's hooked to the side of the track. And as it, hook, as it hits, the hook will drop, crab will drop off that ring. As for who came up with the idea in the first place, that's a little trickier. None of us will take credit for it, so it was a group decision. <laughs> we actually built it last year, and we were going to just uh, do a test run at a small party. Um, but uh, the weather didn't cooperate, and, and uh, we just held off. So it's been around for a year, but uh, this is the first year that we decided to make it happen. Uh, I'm just glad that a lot of people showed up. Um, you never know. You know, you never know if the weather's going to cooperate. And, um, We've got, I guess, about 30 minutes to make this happen. So, oh, the other thing we did was we had a boat naming competition, which is another really important thing for anybody that owns a boat, particularly if it's their livelihood. So uh, we're going to announce that at 11.30, and they're going to win $100 to spend anywhere on Cambridge Main Street. And the name submitted by Cambridge resident Robert Strakes is the one chosen out of 64 entries. Robert, Robert, we're going to Groove City Lady. Groove City Lady. So it's official, the Groove City Lady will be making its maiden voyage in just moments, and the crowd can hardly wait. That deserves a slow motion replay. And if you look closely, you can see the crabs falling off as planned. It, uh, perfect, yep, yep, without a hitch. So here's to the town of Cambridge, Maryland and to the Groove City Lady. We sure hope this is the first of many successful journeys in the future. Get outdoors, Delmarva. Hey.